Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Amigeek. Geek. We're back again. We're back for some more Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator. Um, case number six, Rise of the Sea, the Scourge of the Sea People. And uh, we're we're making progress here. We are, um, we've, we've been, uh, enlisted the help of the fishermen. So let's continue on with our adventure. Before I begin, I just want to let you know I've started a Patreon. Um, there's a I'm going to put, include a Patreon uh, link below the description as well, a little indication on the on the video. <coughs> as well, I've started a GoFundMe for VideoGamersOasis.com. I've always I've already been able to obtain five dollars uh, from a, of a donation uh, going to the graphic design s services that I'll be employing uh, Norman Corbet's uh, Corbet.GraphicDesign.ca as well as um, uh, copyright services f from uh, Canada eventually in America I'm going to be reserving you know paying some, paying some dues for the video gamer it was always his we website business so click the link in the description for my GoFundMe as well let's get on with the the game we're um, we're just lo loading our game. Sail away. Okay, so we're on the ship here. Let's investigate the ship here, or the, the boat, and see what we can do here. Life preserver. A life preserver hangs on a metal pole at the back of the boat. You hope you don't have to use it. There is no life-threatening emergency that would require a life the life preserver at the moment. A large hook sways gently in the breeze. The fisherman must use this for his larger catches. You grab the hook. You never know when you might need to catch the big one. Okay, so we, we've saved... Uh, um, fishing boat. We'll just say this is fishing boat. Okay, uh, what else can we do here? A medium-sized length of chain hangs from a hook on the side of the captain's cabin. Let's take that. Well, pardon me. Let's take that. You pick up the chain and somehow manage to fit the entire thing in your pants. A big, <laughs> huge, heavy chain in my pants. Is that a chain in your pocket or you just happen to see me? <laughs> Come on up and see me sometime. Mae West, for those of you who uh, who don't know what I'm talking about. Who don't watch old movies. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go inside the cabin. The doorway. Space is cramped in there. And you don't appreciate the fishermen. Would appreciate just barging in. Okay. Do -do -do, do -do -do. So the doorway to the captain's cabin. Wh what happened if I go over the edge? The cool water spreads out as you catch as far as I can see. It looks pretty inviting. Diving into the sea wouldn't be a very good idea right now. Let's talk to the cabin. Hey, Captain. What is it? Uh, let's talk to him a bit. I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Um, boat. This is a pretty nice boat. Have you had it all along? How long? Not very. I won it in a card game two weeks ago. That's pretty lucky. Yes, it's much better than my old boat. Comes with a nice extras. What sort of extras? I got a water steel in case of emergency and an inflatable dinghy for getting to places I can't get close to. Ah, uh, weather. How's the weather looking for today? Look for yourself. There are no clouds in the sky. It will be a sunny day today. No rain. You picked a good day to go exploring. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where did you want to go? Um. Let's go to Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the Oracle? Sure thing. And away we go. Okay. Save our progress. As Oracle Island. Let's 
this device? It's an odd-looking and completely broken device. It looks as though it's missing a crank or something. The device feels like hot, rusted metal that's been sitting in the sun too long. Boulder. It's a large boulder with a strange gap in the center. If you didn't know better, you'd say this boulder was placed here deliberately. Hmm. You, the boulder is way too heavy for you to be to move with your bare hands, and there is nothing of interest inside the gap. All right. Um. I'm gonna load my game. Go to the fishing boat. Okay. So we're on the fishing boat. Let's uh, go downstairs, see what's, uh, what's in the hatch. The hatch contains a ladder which leads down into the crew quarters. Okay, what's down here? Oh, explore the, the boat. Trunk. It's a large metal trunk used to store the inflatable dinghy for those hard to reach parts. You have no need for the trunk right now. What's this? Still. It's a still. could provide the desalinated water in case of an emergency where the boat is stranded at sea for an extended period of time. It's a st Okay, can I drink something? You don't want to mess around with the still. You might accidentally break it. Porthole. The portal isn't open and for good reason. Through the porthole, the dark blue unknown of the ocean stretches far, far as far as the eye can see. It's a big boat. The fisherman has put on the snout of a sawfish as a trophy over the doorway. That that seems incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I'd say. You can't quite reach the trophy. Cursed your short legs. Can I push it down with a hook? That's not going to help you get the trophy down. All right, why why is that? Metal bar. Using the metal bar, you managed to get the sawfish out down off the door. All right, what am I going to do with this? Sawfish snout. It's the bony snout from a sawfish. The fisherman must have been particularly proud of this catch. Just told us uh, his sawfish trophy. Ouch, that's about as sharp as a real saw. Hmm. Put this chain, hook and chain together. The hook and chain are both too large for you to attach together like this. You can't handle them both at the same time. Okay. Okay, save our progress. Let's head back to the captain. We've got enough stuff here. Hey, captain! What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Boat. This is a pretty nice boat. Have you had it long? Not very. I won it in the card game two weeks ago. That's pretty lucky. Yes, it's much better than my old boat. Comes with nice extras. What sort of extras? I got a water still in case of emergency. An inflatable dinghy for getting into places I can't get close to. Weather. How's the weather looking for today? Look for yourself. There are no clouds in the sky. It will be a sunny day today. No rain. You picked a good day to go exploring. Chart a course. Oh, wait. Wait, I did I didn't mean to press that. I, I pressed goodbye. Hey, Captain! What is it? I want to ask you a few things. 
I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where did you want to go? Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the Oracle? Sure thing. We've arrived at Oracle Island. Okay. Let's go f investigate Oracle Island. Explore. Can't go left. Or can we? Maybe. Okay, what's this boulder? It's a large boulder with a strange gap in the center. If you didn't know better, you'd say this boulder was placed here deliberately. The boulder is way too heavy for you to move with your bare hands, and there's nothing of interest inside the gap. What's this device here? It's an odd looking and completely broken device. It looks as though it's missing a crank or something. The device feels hot, rusted, like hot rusted metal that's been sitting in the sun too long. Alright, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the crank, the metal bar, and put it into the ma machine device. See what happens. You slide the metal bar through the holes in the side of the machine, but it's too long and unwieldy. It doesn't stay in place. Okay, that's not good. Ah, saw. Saw fish now on the metal bar. Using the saw sharp serrated edges of the sawfish snout, you managed to saw off part of the middle bar. What do you know? Oops, it seems the sawfish snout wasn't as sturdy as it looked. The stress placed on it from sawing the bar has caused it to snap in half. Uh-oh. Broken snout. The, the sawfish snout is now broken. How are you going to explain this to the fisherman? You try to s stick the snout back together, but it doesn't work. Cut bar. You've shortened the bar to a much more manageable length. The bar feels sturdy. Save our progress. Oracle Island. Let's get our uh, our, our equipment. Our bar and get to the device. You slide the bar through the holes in the side of the machine. It fits perfectly. Excellent. Crank. The metal bar makes a great crank for the machine. Here we go. Tur you turn the crank. The wheel on the side of the machine goes round and round, but nothing much else happens. Maybe it's missing a belt or something. Would the chain help? It's a pretty good size cha uh, length of chain. You can't really see how that would work. Okay, here we go. You string the chain through the wheel on the side of the machine. Excellent. Save progress. Oracle Island. Crank. Let's start cranking it. Here we go. You turn the crank. The chain rolls up a bit, but not much else happens. What the heck? Now what am I going to do? Maybe some lubricant on us. Suntan lotion. You apply a little bit of suntan lotion. Take that, melanoma. All right, now what I want to do. The melanoma makes a great crank for the machine. Device, yes, you fix the machine, how clever you are. You turn the crank, the chain rolls up a bit, but not much else happens. What am I supposed to do now? Your boulder is way too heavy for you to move with your bare hands, and there is nothing of interest inside the gap. Chain. What's this with the chain? The chain is fine where it is. You have no desire to tug, to, to lug it around again. 
The chain is running through the wheel on the side of the machine. You fix the machine. You turn the crank, the chain rolls up a bit, but not much else happens. What am I supposed to do? Save our progress. There's some flowers here. Let's pick up these flowers. There's a small patch of white flowers growing at the base of the rocks. Okay, let's pick those up. We need to pick those flowers up. Pick one of the white flowers. And it's a pretty flower. You have no idea what kind it is, though. The flower feels soft and delicate. All right, let's um, use a cook on this machine. You can't see how that would work. Chain is running through, through the wheel on the side of the machine. The chain is fine where it is. You have no desire to lug it around again. All right, let's um, let's use the hook on the chain specifically. Here we go. You manage to attach the hook to the end of the chain. All right, is it, is it actually going to work now? Device, save progress. You turn the crank, the ch crank rolls up a bit, but not much else happens. Maybe if I move the chain, grab the chain, you pick up the hook, now what? Put on the boulder. You attach the hook to the gap in the rock. Let's hope you know what you're doing. The chain is now attached to the boulder via the hook. All right, let's do this. You summon all your strength and turn the crank. Here we go. Uh-oh, looks like the boulder is about to fall. You quickly step out of the way. Here we go. Boom. Wow, you did it. The machine may be broken, but at least you got the boulder out of the way. Sweet. We're in Oracle Island. We've opened the cave, folks. The boulder now lies on top of the smash machine we're used to move it. You'll no need to desire to move that boulder again. It's all busted. Let's descend into the inmost cave to meet the Oracle. Hey, what is this place? The torch burns steadily, giving some light to this gloomy cave. You wonder who lit it, considering the entrance was blocked. All right, safe as Oracle Cave. Let's descend into this inmost cave. What is this place? In what's this? Statue. In the corner of a large is a large stone statue depicting three women in robes. The three fates, maybe? Statue. Inscription. At the base of the statue, you notice a small inscription. Unfortunately for you, it is written in Greek, making it impossible to understand. All right, what am I supposed to do now? The statue feels stra strangely warm to the touch, almost as though it were alive. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Would some dough help? I'm just thinking out loud. 
Get my damage stores by doing that. Hmm. Flowers? So flowers for the statue. Let's talk to the statues. You can talk to all you like, but it's not going to respond. Alright. Oracle. Well, it seems that I have missed some vital um, steps. I have to go back to Agia Anna and get some stuff that I left behind. But at least I left the cave open. Let's go back to the beach, to the dinghy. Forgot some important things. You board the dinghy and head back to the boat. <coughs> hey, Captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Back to Agiana. I th can we pl go back to Agiana? I think I'm starting to get seasick. No problem, boss. I'll take us back. All right. Okay, we are back. I'm going home. If you want to go silly again, come see me. All right. Fisherman. Let's go back to the fisherman, and we need to pick up a red cup. You have to go closer. Knock on the door. Para calo, para meti, el elipto. Oh, it's you. Come in. How can I help you? Pick up the cup. You decide to take the cup into your possession. Would you mind if I bore this cup for a little while? No, take it. You never know when you might need a refill on the go. Just be sure to give it back to me just before you leave, Agia Anna. Let's see progress, fishman. Red cup. You don't want any Uzu. Besides, the fisherman gave you your own cup. Let's ask him a question. Can we? A can I ask you some questions? This is what you are here for, so go ahead. Sailing. I'm ready to go sailing again. Good. I can hear the sail calling me. Save this as fishing boat. Hey, Captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Oracle Island. How about we check out that island with the oracle. Sure thing. And we're back at the island with our red cup. Talk on it. I forgot something important. I have to go down below. I'm not really with it today. I need a second. I need my a sip of my coffee. Pardon me, folks. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Oh boy, let's do this. All right. To still, okay. Let's take our um, cup and still. You can't distill that. Oh, 
I need to take some water and distill the water. That's what I gotta do. Turn it fresh. Take the red cup, take it in the water. You dip the cup into the sea, filling it with water. All right. You fill the cup with sea water from the Aegean Sea. This might make a good souvenir for you to keep it from spilling. The cup feels like, like ceramic. Okay. Hey, Captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the Oracle? Sure thing. All right, excellent. Let's do this. Now we have the fresh water. And now we can go to the the three fates. Pour the fresh water on the three fates statue. There you see no reason to put water on the statue. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do. supposed to do here well since um, Ben Jordan is a investigator he needs to do some investigating and some research not just going balls balls forward and tits first into an adventure he has to actually do some thinking so let's take uh, our notepad and investigate you copy down the inscription. You may not be able to understand it, but someone else might. So we just copy down the inscription on the uh, notes, on our notes. You've written down the Greek text from the inscription in the Oracle Island Cave. It's your trusty notepad and pen. They've been helped you tremendously through the paranormal investigating career. Notes. Find out about sea people. Dinner with Professor Sanborn, 8 o'clock p.m. Hire fisherman's boat. Get Uzo for fisherman. Put away. Save our progress. All right. Now we can move on. You bore the dinghy and head back to the boat. Okay. Let's talk to uh, the captain about this inscription. Hey, captain. What is it? Give him the inscription. Can you tell me what this says? Hmm. Where did you read this? It was written at the base of the statue in a cave on Oracle Island. Very interesting. It says, only those who can quench the thirst for knowledge may summon the oracle. Great, and I'm ancient Amer Greek riddle. I wonder what it means. Well, thanks for translating it for me. Not a problem, boss. I gotta get back to sailing the boat. All right, save our progress. Um, let's chart a course to Oracle Island. Hey, Captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? Back to Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the Oracle? Sure thing. 
let's go back to Oracle Island, and we're going to take our cup of water, quench the statues with the fresh water. That's why we had to distill it, because it was salt water originally. But we distilled the water. Quench the statue with water. <clears throat> you pour some of the salt water into the statue. What happens? Nothing happens. Probably not because salt water isn't drinkable. Oh. Because the salt water isn't drinkable, I didn't distill the water. <clears throat> Let's go back to uh, the ship. And distill the water. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, these things we have to do just to get to one point in the game. You board the dinghy and head back to the boat. Let's go downstairs with our fresh cup of salt water. Still, <clears throat> you pour the cup of salt water into the still and place the now empty mug into the receptacle. After a few minutes, the distilled water collects in the mud mug. You don't want to mess around with the still, it might accidentally break it. And I want the still, I want the cup. I oh, got it right here. The cup is now full of distilled fresh water. The cup feels like ceramic. So they have progress as red cup. Okay. Let's talk to our gentleman, our captain. Hey, captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the Oracle? Sure thing. All right. Now, now we got our fresh cup of water. We can now pour the fresh cup of water on the statues of the Oracle. We are ready. We are so ready for this. Pour it on the statue. You pour some of the fresh water onto the statue. What happens? Oh, the oracle. Whoa, it worked. Greetings, mortal. I am the oracle. I sense that you, like many others before you, have come seeking knowledge and truth. Tell me, what is it that you seek? I s um... can't touch the oracle. You aren't in a particular touch of really mood right now. Let's ask a question from the oracle. I have some questions for you, oracle. Then ask them. English. How is it that you can speak perfect English? I do not speak quote-unquote English, mortal. I communicate through the power of thought. That This is why it appears that I am speaking your language. Oh, it's a sort of ethereal babelfish thing. I do not know this Babelfish of which you speak. Oh, never mind. Tell me about yourself. So what exactly does an oracle do? I give spiritual guidance and deliver prophecies, events which are yet to come. So you're basically an ancient psychic. Uh, tell me my future. Can you tell me my future? 
you are a part of two prophecies, one which has already come to pass, and another which will come to pass very soon. No kidding, what, what are they? The one which has already come to pass tells of the return of the four sides, and the one that will come from the west to defeat them. The one which has yet to occur tells of disturbances around the world. Paranormal disturbances? Things have been taken. They are being hoarded in secret, and as a result are causing unrest. What sort of things? Objects of great power and meaning. Your path will soon cross that of the one collecting these objects. Beware, for your trust shall be betrayed by one you hold close. That doesn't sound good. Anything else? You will soon meet your darkest hour. I cannot say more. That's probably for the best. Sea people. Do you know anything about the sea people? Ah, you wish to know about the four sides. Yes, that's, that's them, yeah. I have heard a prophecy regarding the four sides, one that has already come to pass. It is said that they would lie undisturbed under the Aegean Sea for nearly one and one thousand years. But something would disturb them and cause them to seek the surface, bringing land-dwelling men down to their home as punishment. What is it that disturbed them? Something was taken, one of the many stolen items that have caused unrest. It is also said that from one of the west would come and seek the lair of the four sides. You must travel to the Vanishing Island. There you will find what you seek. Vanishing Island? Wh what and where is this Vanishing Island? It is an island shrouded in mists, not far from here. At times it is clear to the eye, at the others it is invisible. Seek this island, for there you shall find what you need to know about the location of the Foresides City. That's all for now. May the fates guide you on your journey. Anything else I can ask? I have some questions for you, Oracle. Then ask them. That's all for now. All right. Can I say anything else? Do you hang around these caves like this often? Only when summoned to this statue. Save our progress as Oracle Cave. Or something else to do. Let's go back to where we um, we departed. Back to the boat. You bore the dinghy and head back to the boat. Save our progress as fisherman's fishing boat. Let's talk to our fish to the captain. Hey captain! What is it? I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Um Vanishing Island. I, I spoke with the Oracle. So, she does exist. Yeah, she mentioned something about finding an island that vanishes. Do you know what she might have been talking about? Hmm, there is an island nearby which might be one you'll speak of. The, on some days, the clouds cover the island, making it look like it has disappeared. 
Sounds close enough to what she said. There is something you should know. Legend says that on this island, there is a labyrinth, and inside is a vicious beast. You mean a minotaur? Yes. Now, I do not believe in legends, but with the sea people and now the oracle being real. I see what you're saying, but I think I'll take my chances. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Take me to the island of the Minotaur. Let's go to the island where the Minotaur is supposed to live. I'm glad I'm staying on the boat. We've arrived, folks. We're on the island of the Minotaur. Ooh. Let's save our progress. Minotaur Island. And we'll take a break right here. Gamers, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan, Scourge of the Sea People, case number six uh, by Francisco Gonzalez. We've uh, managed to t um, travel uh, on the fishing boat with our fisherman captain, and we travel to the Oracle Island where we poured some fresh water on a, on a, stat on a couple of three statues, and we're able to consult with the mysterious Oracle and get some spiritual guidance. And we are now on Minotaur Island, we have to descend into the labyrinth and meet the Manitaur and defeat him. That's all the time we have for this game. I would appreciate it if you would like this video. Add it to your favorites. Leave comments below. Share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, all the social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Check out our other links below. I'm your host, Geek. Thanks for watching. And uh, I would appreciate it if you would uh, contribute to my Patreon. There's some interesting perks there. We can help, you know, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater Patreon, where you can get some perks for your YouTube channel or your website. Just, uh, just check out the the link there. Also, uh, help contribute to my GoFundMe, where I'm working on my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. I'm uh, working with my friend uh, Norman Corbet from CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. Um, I need uh, some help, uh, a goal of $900 to help with the website design services, graphic design services, and eventually some copyright services. Um, I've already um, received five dollars uh, donation so if you'd like to give anything to the GoFundMe there's a link in the description I'm your host Amiki thanks for watching and we'll talk to you real soon have a great week and Gotti Gotti um, Gotti Spada T take care bye <coughs> this episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Tube Buddy YouTube certified. Stop wasting time. TubeBuddy is a free browser extension that integrates directly into YouTube to help you run your channel with ease. Trusted by more than 1 million plus amazing YouTubers. Type in your browser https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot tubebuddy dot com forward slash V G O I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.